Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. My name is Marco and I'm here to help you master your money and build your wealth. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Vanguard index funds for beginners or people that are looking to get into index fund investing. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what index funds are, who index funds are for, why Vanguard in the first place, and also why invest in index funds at all. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So what are Vanguard index funds? So Vanguard index funds are a type of mutual fund where investors pool their money together to buy shares in a fund that mimics a certain benchmark. So the best example I can give you is here's a bunch of investors. There's uh, Sally the salon owner, um, Barry the basketball coach, uh, you have Marco in front of the whiteboard, and then you have uh, Christina the nurse for example. So these are all just regular people and they're putting in their money into this index fund and pooling it together, okay? So what is this index fund? So this is gonna be the actual index fund that they're investing in. So these index funds are designed to mimic a benchmark, okay? So what is a benchmark? What can a benchmark be? So the benchmark is an index or an industry such as the S&P 500, it can be real estate for example, it can be growth stocks, whatever. There's about 62 different uh, Vanguard index funds out there and they cover a whole different type, a bunch of different types of investments. So index funds contain hundreds if not thousands of stocks within one share of that index fund. So instead of uh, Christina the nurse going out on her own and investing one stock in Amazon, uh, one stock in Google, we'll just call it Alphabet, Google, so everyone knows what I'm talking about, uh, Netflix, for example, these are all individual stocks and it's all somewhat risky. So instead of worrying about individual stocks, Christina goes on Vanguard's website and says, hey, you know, it looks like this index fund is investing in the total stock market. If I buy one share of this index fund, I have exposure to the entire stock market, so why not just do that? So this is basically, instead of handpicking individual stocks and bonds, the fund manager for these indexes uh, are basically buying all the stocks in the index or the benchmark that it tracks, okay? So here's a couple examples so I don't lose you. So the one that covers the entire stock market that I was talking about with Christina is called VT Sachs. That's an actual real Vanguard index fund and this literally covers the entire stock market, okay? So if you invest in VT Sachs, you have exposure to the entire market. Say for example, um, Marco in front of the whiteboard is interested in real estate. Well, they do have a REIT uh, tracker or a REIT index which is known as VGSIX, VG6. And this basically is a benchmark that tracks all of um, the real estate investment trusts out there that are publicly available. Okay, so there are some minimum investments with Vanguard index funds. For example, VG6, the minimum investment is $3,000. For VT Sachs, the minimum investment is $10,000. Um, so if you want to get into an ETF, which is outside the scope of this video, an ETF is just an exchange traded fund that tracks pretty much the same thing as these, uh, you can get in for a much lower dollar amount. Okay, you can actually get in with one share. Uh, if you do want to buy fractional shares or if you want to invest, you can always do so with Betterment and M1 Finance. The links are in the description below if you want to get started investing with that or you can even use Vanguard themselves, okay? So uh, let's move on here. Who are these index funds for? So all these people here that are investing, they're all just regular people. I'm actually not going to erase this just yet because this is a good example. So these are for people looking to passively invest, okay? And they're just looking to match market returns instead of trying to beat them. So Christina the nurse, Marco in front of the whiteboard, um, Barry the basketball coach, all these people lead their own lives. They're busy, they have kids, they have you know, eight to five jobs, you know, they're working, they wanna enjoy their life. They don't have time to burn the midnight oil and look at over all the annual reports to find outliers of individual stocks to outperform the market. Picking individual stocks is very difficult and it's very hard to do. So what they're doing is, is that they're pooling their money together, having a passively managed fund like VG6 or VT Sachs, for example, and getting on with their lives, okay? So there was actually a 2013 survey done or study done that shows that index investing outperformed active investing by 80 to 90% of the time. And with, when you account for uh, basically expense ratios and how much it costs to actually be invested in a actively managed mutual fund, a lot of those returns were diminished in the first place. 
okay, so why Vanguard? Why even invest in Vanguard index funds when there's uh, Charles Schwab index funds? There's a bunch of different other companies that offer index funds to invest in. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still under the weather from FinCon. I don't know what was in that plane, but you know, maybe I partied a little bit too hard, but I'm out here. I'm out here for the people battling, okay? Um, so if I sound out of the, under the weather, I am. Um, so Vanguard is essentially the 800-pound gorilla in the room, and they're the originator of the index fund, which came out in 1976. So RIP to Jack Bogle, um, the creator of Vanguard and the index fund as we know it today. Um, the nice thing about Vanguard is that they have low expense ratios. So their expense ratios, pretty much how much it costs you to invest in these funds compared to their competitors, is 73% lower than the industry average. So this is not a sponsored video by Vanguard. I am a Vanguard customer. I've been investing with them for a very long time. Um, that's actually where my entire Roth IRA lives today. Um, and I'm just someone who's a proponent of the brand. Um, this is not paid at all. Um, so 84% of their mutual funds have performed better than their peers over the last 10 years as well. So you know that you're getting a good product. And there's actually over $3 trillion invested in Vanguard's mutual funds and ETFs at the time of this recording. That's a lot of money, you guys. Um, so I don't think they're going anywhere is the point of that um, comment. And then finally, you have a big selection with Vanguard from their ETFs, to their index funds. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you have about 62 uh, index funds to choose from, which will pretty much satiate any appetite for your investment and risk profile. So finally, why even invest in index funds in general? Not necessarily with Vanguard, not necessarily with Schwab or you know, whoever else, just why index funds in general? Well, first of all, active investing is time consuming and difficult. Uh, going back to our example of Barry the basketball coach and Christina the nurse, they, have, they, they are working. My, my wife, who is a nurse, works 12 hour shifts. The last thing she's gonna do is come home, cook dinner, and start looking at uh, 10K annual reports and all that stuff uh, to invest into an individual company. It's, it's a time consuming and it's difficult, so that's why index fund investing is actually easier. Um, and then also it's low cost, as I just mentioned. So the, ratio, the expense ratios are very low compared to actively managed portfolios, and you don't require a portfolio manager for these. There is a fund manager that updates the um, selections quarterly or annually or biannually, and they do it because it's easy because they're just following that index. They're not actively sitting there um, you know, trying to get paid off of their research uh, for layman's terms. Um, finally, index funds are diversified. As I mentioned here, say for example, we're looking at VG6 or VT Sachs, you're getting hundreds if not thousands of shares of stocks within one share of an index fund and you have a, a basket full of different stocks as opposed to having a thousand shares of Amazon or a thousand shares of Netflix. Well, guess what? If Netflix goes by the wayside, you're screwed. There goes your whole investment. So um, index funds, they're also consistent. Um, they've performed consistently, especially over the last 10, 15 years. Um, a lot of these index funds, they're about 10, 15 years old and they've done well. However, um, you know, we've been in a 10 year bull market right now, which is, you know, anyone could have been making money in this market. So take that with a grain of salt, you guys. Uh, as always, I hope you guys got value out of this video. It takes a lot of time and effort to outline these videos and record them. So I would appreciate it if you shared it with one friend. Uh, and as always, you guys, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you and have a prosperous day.